in the first year of Darius, the son of Ahasuerus, of the seed of Medes, that was emperor on the realm of Chaldees, in the first year of his realm, I, Daniel, understood in books the number of years, of which number the word of the Lord was made to Jeremy, the prophet, that seventy years of desolation of Jerusalem should be filled. And I said in my face to my Lord God to pray and beseech in fastings and sackcloth and ashes. And I prayed, my Lord, and I acknowledged and said, I beseech thou, Lord God, great and fearful, keeping covenant and mercy to them that love thee and keep thy commandments. We have sinned, we have done wickedness, we did unfaithfully and went away and bowed away from thy commandments and dooms. We obeyed not to thy servants, prophets, that spake in the name to our kings, to our princes, and to our fathers, and to all the people of the land. Lord, rightfulness is to thee, for so the shame of face is to us, as is today a man of Judah, and to the dwellers of Jerusalem, and to all Israel, to these men that be nigh, and to these men that be afar in all lands which thou castest them out for the wickednesses of them, in which, Lord, they sinned against thee. Shame of faces to us, to our kings, to our princes, and to our fathers that sinned. But mercy and benignity is to thee, our Lord God. For we went away from thee, and heard not the voice of our Lord God, that we should go in the law of him, which he said it to us by his servants, prophets, and all Israel break thy law, and bowed away that they heard not thy voice, and cursing and loathing, which is written in the book of Moses, the servant of God dropped on us, for we sinned to him. And he ordained his words, which he spake on us, and on our princes that deemed us, that they should bring in on us great evil, what manner of evil was never under heaven, by that, by that that is done in Jerusalem. As it is written in the law of Moses, all this evil came on us, and, our Lord God, we pray not thy face, that we should turn again from our wickednesses, and should think thy truth. And the Lord waked on malice, and brought it on us. Our Lord God is just in all his works which he made, for we heard not his voice. And now, our Lord God, that led us thy people out of the land of Egypt in strong hand, and made us to thee a name by this day. We have sinned, we have done wickedness. Lord, against all thy rightfulness, I beseech thy wrath and thy strong vengeance be turned away from the si thy city Jerusalem and from thy holy hill. For why for our sins and for the wickednesses of our fathers, Jerusalem and the people be in shame to all men by compass. But now, our God, hear thou the prayer of thy servant and the beseechings of him. Show thy face on thy sanctuary, which is forsaken. My God, for thyself bow down thine ear. And here, open thine eyes, and see our desolation in the city, on which thy name is called to help. For not in our justifyings we set forth meekly prayers before thy face, but in thy many merciful doings. Lord, hear thou. Lord, be thou pleased. Perceive thou, and do. My Lord God, tarry thou not for thyself, for thy name is called to help on the city and thy people. And when I spake yet, and prayed, and acknowledged my sins, and the sins of my people Israel, that I should set forth meekly my prayers in the sight of my God for the holy hill of my God. The while I spake yet in my prayer, lo, the man Gabriel, whom I had seen in vision at the beginning, flew soon and touched me in the time of eventide sacrifice. And he taught me, and he spake to me, and said, Daniel, now I went out, that I should teach thee, and thou should, shouldn't understand, shouldest understand. From the beginning of thy prayers a word went out, for sooth I came to show to thee, for thou art a man of desires. Therefore perceive thou the word, and understand thou the vision. Seventy weeks of years be abridged on thy people, and on thine holy city, that trespassing be ended, and sin take an end, and that wickedness be done away, and everlasting rightfulness be brought, and that the vision and prophecy be filled, and the holy place of saints be anointed, be anointed. Therefore know thou, and perceive, from the going out of the word, that Jerusalem be builded again, till to Christ, the Duke, shall be seven weeks of years, and two and sixty weeks of years, and again the street shall be builded, and walls, in the anguish of times, and after two and sixty weeks of years, Christ shall be slain, 
and it shall not be his people that shall deny him. And the people that with the duke to coming shall come destroy the city and the sanctuary. And the end thereof shall be destroying. And after the end of battle shall be ordained desolation. For sooth one week of years shall confirm the covenant to many men. And the offering and sacrifice shall fail in the midst of the week of years. And a abomination of desolation shall be in the temple. And the desolation shall continue till to the performing an end.